Thursday, June 27th, 2002. The magical gifts of Dot are the Book of Knowledge, the Crescent, and the Pentangle. The Book of Knowledge is a very sacred symbol. It will reveal to you the true secrets of life, the knowledge behind all knowledge. It will reveal to you who you truly are. Embrace this symbol in your daily awareness. This will help you to truly understand who you are. The Book of Knowledge contains all the knowledge of the past, present, and future. Every event is recorded in this book. It contains the wisdom of all ages. Words cannot describe the awesome wisdom that it contains. The Crescent is another magical gift to embrace. This ancient symbol has been used for thousands of years. To cross the abyss, the crescent symbol is like the crescent moon in the sky. The moon controls the ebb and flow of the tides on earth. The crescent symbol will help you get pulled by the force field of the abyss and take you through to the other side. It's like a black hole where the matter gets redirected. On the other side, a brand new universe is being created. The same way, Dot will tear away your baggage and rip them to shreds. Only the light of God will, will survive. On the other side, the real you will shine. This experience must be led by someone who has been there before. Do not enter it by yourself. This is extremely important. Many people have tried by themselves and have ended up insane. So be aware, you need to cross the abyss with a teacher. So concentrate on the crescent. You will begin to feel this force field. When you cross the abyss, you will be already familiar with it. The last magical gift is the pentangle. The pentangle will align you to the will of God. It is a very special figure. It contains many faceted pyramids. It will show you the unity of life. Love, mercy, and compassion exist. They are not a state of mind. They exist. The symbol represents all that you are. The faucets of life will be revealed to you. This path is extremely glorious for those who walk upon it. <coughs> be sincere and know you are privileged. You have a golden opportunity. So walk this path. These three gifts are worth more than the wealth of all the universe. Open up and receive. Be humble. Be a true servant of the Lord. We love you. The Voices of Dot Friday, June 28, 2002. The divine force of Dot is Jehovah Elohim. This is created through knowledge. Words cannot describe the power, the love, and the glory of this being. By aligning yourself with this divine force, you will be set free. You will be carried across the abyss when the time comes. This is truly a sacred moment when this happens. Always be humble. Always be full of joy. Let go of your negative ego and personality. Let your light shine. 
You are just beginning to see the majestic of this precious moment. Great things are about to happen on your planet. Listen to the tides of life. This life is so precious. Live each moment as it will be your last. Cherish the life you have. Know that it is only by the grace of God that you are here. Let go of all your pettiness. It's not worth getting into. Realize that you are a proactive being. Realize that you are a co-creator. The decision is yours. Only you can make the choice. I love you, Jehovah Elohim. Saturday, June 29th, 2002. There are four archangels for Doth, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and Uriel. These are the archangels of the four directions. Each direction is associated with one of the elements of nature, earth, air, water, and fire. Earth, Uriel, North. Water, Gabriel, South. Air, Raphael, East. Fire, Michael, West. The entire <coughs> creation is composed of these basic elements. To cross the abyss, it is necessary to be in harmony with these archangels and their directions and elements. One's whole being should be aligned to the will of God the will of the universe, and the will of the human. To cross the abyss is wise to learn how to be in this state. You need to let go of your negative ego. You need to let go of forcing things to make them happen. To cross the abyss, one should be open, humble, and be in a proactive state. Let your issues drop like flies. Be open and sincere. Remember not to enter the abyss without a physical teacher. This is required. You may familiarize yourself with the boundaries of the abyss, but don't go in. Daily, do your prayers and rituals. Let your focus be of God. Let go. Trust in God. This always works. If it doesn't work according to plan, remember, there is a master plan. The most important thing is always to be in alignment with God. This is the key. Before you begin your day, align yourself with God. This life is so incredible. Let go of your reactive nature. Trust and let go. When you fall by the wayside, pick yourself up and keep on walking. Learn from your mistakes and gain wisdom from it. Day by day, you will be more in tune with God. We love you, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and Uriel.
Monday, July 1st, 2002. The spirits are doth, are the serpents of knowledge. Knowledge allows you to sh sit, shift your perception about something, allows you to see the forest from the trees. It's like climbing the mountain. The higher you climb, the better the view. The more knowledge you acquire, your perspective on life changes. You begin to see things more clearly. It's like you rise above the fog in the valley. This is why it's so important to discover who you are. Self-discovery allows you to climb to depths you never have imagined. Knowledge is acquired every step of the way. You must learn to live as a proactive being. You must be a co-creator. Before you cross the abyss, make sure your baggage is sorted out. We are here to help you in your quest. Daily, align yourself to the will of God, the will of the universe, and nature. Look at yourself in the mirror. Go to the root of your fears. Learn to control your emotions. We will guide you. Thursday, July 4th, 2002. One of the attributes of Da is hidden knowledge. When a person crosses the abyss, one can see the secrets of all. This knowledge is hidden through a veil. The veil covers the knowledge as a cloudy day covers the sun. This knowledge brings you into a greater sense of being. You are aligned with the will of God and nature. The struggle between the positive ego and negative ego diminishes. This is why preparation is so important. You must make sure you have let go of all your baggage. This is very important. You must be sovereign. This is the highest and sacred knowledge. The only one who is pure at heart may enter. So pay attention. Let go and be like a child. Love the voices of Dot. Friday, July 5th, 2002. Another attribute of Dot is past light information. This is somewhat a misnomer and highly controversial. The hierarchy believes that a human comes here once and only once. You only have one opportunity here on Earth. Past life information relates to a life where in the past you were a guide to someone else. You experienced the whole life of that person. 
It's like you participated in that person's life. In essence, you were a guide. This has happened many times throughout one spiritual life. Yet the soul gets born once and only once. It is born in this world to go back to its source. This is why the Brotherhood and Sisterhood of Light says it's a misnomer. You are here physically only once, yet as guides you may experience numerous lifetimes guiding someone else. More than one guide may assist someone, which usually is the case. So in reality, that opens us up to the numerous roles we held as guides. We can remember the life as that person we assisted. This makes the opportunities of this life a thousand percent more important. Each life is sacred. <coughs> Each moment <coughs> is sacred. We only have one time to perform service to heaven on earth. When the body dies, the soul goes on to a greater school. The goal is to go back to the source. This is yet another classroom. So by the grace of God, we are here. We are here to serve the Almighty. We continue in this sacred journey. Love, the voices of God. Saturday, July 6, 2002. When a person opens up to Dot, creative expressions are opened up. This allows for even greater expressions in your life. Each moment is a sacred moment. Each moment is an opportunity to be a co-creator. This is the highest self-expression known to man. You are a co-creator. You have been created in the image of God. Your creativity lies within, just waiting to be tapped into. Dot will help you establish that capability. So let go of your baggage. Be a true channel for God. Look at each moment. Don't react and run old tapes. Process and learn to release old buttons that charge you. This will lead you back home. Council meeting. What a great time to be alive. It looks like the darkest hour, yet the sun is about to shine. A new dawn is about to happen. Man will transform one by one. The seeds were planted a long time ago. The harvest is about to begin. We as the hierarchy have been looking forward to this moment for a long time. We knew that you were created in the image of God, yet man has lived in a reactive mode for thousands of years. Now is the time to reclaim your divinity. Now is the time to come back home. Get rid of your excess baggage that will no longer serve you. Now is the new beginning for humankind. Trust and heal yourself. Become a true living God. Overcome all your issues. We are here to help and assist you, but you must yield your sword. In other words, you must conquer yourself. You must face your monsters. This is a true spiritual warrior. We are on the sidelines watching the game. You are the ones on the field playing the game. We can only watch you. So open up your heart, roll up your sleeves, and start to release your old buttons. A new dawn is about to occur. We do not doubt that you can do this. Love, 
the Christ. Monday, July 8th, 2002. When a person crosses the abyss, you will have greater vision and perception. The veil will be lifted. It's like a foggy day. The sun is still shining, but you cannot see it. If you rise high enough, you will see the sun. By crossing the abyss, you will have the opportunity to have greater perception and vision. It's like you're a move from the valley to the mountain. You have a higher perspective in life. The air is more <coughs> clear and pure. This will assist you in your transformation. A greater vision and perspective will help you see the majesty of life. You will see that we are all tied together by the thread of love. All of life is woven with this material. So we humbly request that you let go of your baggage. We love you. The Voices of Dot. Wednesday, July 10th, 2002. Dot will allow you to balance the male and female aspects in your life. These need to be balanced in man and woman. Man must learn how to embrace the feminine side and woman must embrace the masculine side. They must be in balance. Each one of us has its perfect ratio which we need to discover. Dot will give you the knowledge and wisdom to discover this ratio inside of you. Man can only embrace his masculine side. If he does, this world will be destroyed. Women need to embrace not only her feminine side, but the masculine as well. We need both severity and love, mercy and compassion. A world where severity only will destroy itself in the end. Dot will show you the way how to live in perfect harmony <coughs> with these two aspects of yourself. They will be in perfect balance. Man has been struggling for thousands of years with this issue. Now you'll be able to see with love, strength, and understanding. Love. The Voices of Dot.
Friday, July 12, 2002. Dot will give you greater clarity than mine. When a person crosses the abyss, you rise to a different state of being. Your consciousness is higher. Imagine that dot is like a water filter. Only pure water can enter. The filter takes away all impurities. It is a filter that gives clarity to the mind. Your thoughts are pure and are filtered out. This clarity will enable you to see through the eyes of God. Your will and God's will will be in sync with each other. The condition of man's mind today is like swamp water. As you start on the road to self-discovery, self clarity of mind begins to change, where eventually the mind is like sweet rainwater with no impurities. This is the true state of man. In this state, the monkey-like chatter of the mind is God. Your consciousness is filled with love, mercy, and compassion. Saturday, July 13th, 2002. Dot will reveal to you your past life's karma. Now this isn't what you have been told about reincarnation. The mystery schools don't teach about reincarnation. They teach that man gets born once and only once. They have been spirit guides for thousands of years. As spirit guides, you have felt everything that the person felt. It was like you were that person. So in reality, there is a fine line between that person and yourself. You aren't that person, but you felt everything that person felt, yet you knew that person inside and out. You were a guide to that person. This is kind of a divine paradox. <laughs> so reincarnation is different for the mystery school, yet you can tap into the lies of these as a spirit guide. You will know and experience their lives. We are all guided. We all have guides. The goal is to go back home and become aware of this incredible process. This life is a total miracle. Learn to be in total joy in every moment. We love you. Love the voices of Dot. Council meeting. Today is the new Dot for man. Your world is going through great changes. Your stock market is in the midst of turmoil. This turmoil <coughs> is reflected in the mass corruption of your business leaders. <coughs> Greed has overcome them. They cannot see the forest from the trees. They are like an ostrich <coughs> where they put their heads in the sand thinking they won't be seen. <coughs> Everything is seen and heard. You can't hide <coughs> anything. Everything will be brought to the surface. This is the way and the law. Corruption must be revealed. It must be destroyed. Your foundation must be changed. Your leaders are playing a cat and mouse game with you. They don't mean what they say. It's all doublespeak. They are lost. How can they lead the world when they have forgotten who they are? So your foundation is decaying. A new foundation must be built. This foundation is built on inner awareness. It is built on love, mercy, and compassion for all. This is the true way. Your world must learn that we are all to tied together with the thread of love. If you experience this, you will not 
behave in the ways you do. You will be extremely compassionate with your fellow man. You will want to serve your fellow man. This is the new beginning for man. Everything that you are, not is coming out. All of your falsehoods will come out. It's better to process yourself and throw away your baggage than for the world to see your corruption. The time is now where there are no more secrets. Everything will be revealed. You may not like this, but this is the new beginning. We highly recommend that you clean up your act, learn about yourself, throw away your baggage, learn to love yourself and your fellow man. We are here to guide you. We love you. The hierarchy of life. Sunday, July 14, 2002 The deepest level of dot is the hidden knowledge of the Divine operating in our life. The Divine has always been operating in our life, yet we do not have eyes to see. We think we are all alone, yet man is never alone. We are all tied together with a thread of love. The Divine lives inside us all. Dot removes the veil, and we can see the beauty of all. We can see that we are all held by our Father. This is the way back home. Crossing the abyss is sacred and holy. We, you, must prepare yourself. This is one of the most important steps you will ever take. Don't take it lightly. You can never over-prepare, but you can under-prepare. To have this deepest level, you must let go of all your baggage. All, <coughs> all the issues must come up and be resolved. This is the way your baggage will hold you back. It's like carrying a ton of rock in your shoulders. This is why your energy level seems so low. Darkness cannot enter into the light. Your goal is to let go of all the darkness within. You must embrace your monsters and let them go. Only then will you walk through the fire. So Dot will reveal to you this hidden knowledge, but you must prepare yourself. Spend the next few months clearing your issues. We love you. The Voices of Dot Tuesday, July 16th, 2002 One of the strengths of Dot is open-mindedness. To cross the abyss, one must be open. A being who is living in a reactive state is closed-minded. They can only see the world with their tainted glasses. They are set in their ways. These belief systems are extremely limited. They can't think outside the box. One who embraces Doth is a proactive being. They are a co-creator. The mind is free and open. This being realizes that everything is a miracle. They realize the beauty behind all. A proactive being will think outside the box. Their will is aligned with the will of God. These two states, a reactive being and a proactive being, depend on how open you are. An open mind is free. It sees a thread holding all of life together. A closed mind is a reactive being. 
It has lost and think it's foul. It has lost its true identity. The mind creates the separation between God and themselves. The next strength in Dot is the willingness to face karma. What does this mean? This means you're willing to face your issues. You're willing to look at your excess baggage. To cross the abyss, you must let go of all excess baggage. This is the way. This must be a concentrated effort. We all have baggage to look at. Dot's strength will give you the courage and insight of what's holding you back. Then you can easily let go of your issues. These issues are like magnets which will bring these traits to your life. Don't take it personally when an issue comes up. Face it and be cool, calm and collected. Don't react. Just look at that issue and command from the Lord God of your being to let go of this baggage. You do not need this <coughs> baggage any longer. You can do this. Just learn to look at your issues and resolve them. Face them and throw them away. These baggage are extremely heavy and wear you down. You don't need this heaviness in your life. So totally trust in God. By the time you cross the abyss, make sure you have let them go in your life. The last strength in Dot is the courage to express. This means you are not afraid to express your divinity. You are not afraid to be who you truly are. You are not afraid to express your feelings and emotions. You can express your deepest dreams. Dot gives you the courage to do so. You are a unique and different soul and can express it in this world. Wednesday, July 17th, 2002. One of the weaknesses of doubt is doubt. Doubt is one of the main components which will prevent you from crossing the abyss. You must have faith and trust that you can cross. Doubt is a thorn that must be taken out. It keeps you in a reactive mode. It doesn't want you to trust in yourself and God. Remove doubt. You can do it. You have come so far. You have faith and determination inside of you. You are a co-creator. Reclaim your throne. Reclaim your divinity. These are the most important steps you can take in your life. Doubt will keep you from reaching your goal. So trust in God and you will be taken across the abyss. Fears are another weakness. Fears prevent you from react from reaching your goal. By aligning yourself with the will of God, you will let go of all your fears. Let God be your partner. You don't have to stand all alone. When you stand with God, you dare to throw away your fears. Remember, you are never alone. You just think you are. Find God inside of you, and you will never be alone. Let go of your fears. They will never help you or serve you. Your fears are limiting you. They put you in a fearful state where you are separated from God. This is the mission of fear, 
to separate yourself from your divinity. Now's the time to let go of fear. Throw away your baggage. Thursday, July 18, 2002. Another weakness in Dot is fanaticism. This is a practical fact. If you are fanatic, you can't see the forest from the trees. You become diluted. If you are fanatical about anything, you lose your perspective on life. You are wearing tainted glasses. You may think you see clearly, but you don't. This is why the path of a Kabbalist, you must be level-headed. You must have discrimination. You learn about discrimination in Malku. This is very important to embrace this in your life. This is a living tree. This is a practical path. You must embrace all these qualities in your life. Being a fanatic will will eventually take you off the path. This is an attribute that you don't want to embrace. In your world, people are fanatical about their religions and God, yet millions of people have died in the name of fanaticism. I'm right and you are wrong. God is not a fanatic and neither are you. The threat of love ties us all together, re respectively of our race, color, and creed. Yes, a fanatic expects everyone to be just like it. We all are different and unique. How do you expect, if you are a fanatic, to see the uniqueness if you are in the state? You never will, and this is why your world is in such a sad state. Your fanatics expect everyone to be just like them. This is not the way to God. This is fanaticism, pure and simple. So don't be a fanatic. Embrace all the strengths of each sufferer. Then, and only then, will you not be fanatical in any shape, way, or form. Also, let go of apathy and blame. Apathy will never get you to your goal. It's like driving your car on the freeway of life and taking an exit to a rest area. A rest area is to take a short nap or just relax for a while. It is not your final destination, yet many people just pull off the freeway and stay there for the rest of their life. Don't be stagnant. Your car is meant to be driven. Don't let your car just sit there and decay. You must take proper actions. This is the path of being a co-creator. As a co-creator, you must work in the four worlds. Apathy will not allow you to continue being a co-creator. It will stop you in your tracks. It's like quicksand. You will sink more and more into it. So if you experience apathy, let it go. Do what you can to get rid of it. By now, you have learned the tools to get yourself out of this situation, so take proper action. Next, do not blame others, or most importantly, yourself. Let bygones be bygones. Let go of the past. Let go of all the past incidences in your life. It doesn't matter if you were the cause or someone did something to you. Let it go. Live in the moment. This is extremely practical. Always embrace love. Be a co-creator, not a reactive being. A reactive being always blames others. They will blame others for their misfortune, or they will blame themselves. A creator does not blame others or himself. In this state, how can you blame others? You can't. So moment by moment, we oscillate between these two states. You are learning how to be a co-creator 24 hours a day. This is the goal.
So don't be hard on yourself. This is an evolution that has taken place. You are experiencing both sides of the coin. So realize this. You can do this. Remember, you must take practical steps. You must learn how to create through the four worlds of creation. Everything must go through these four worlds. This is how creation takes place. Stop, look, and listen. Do what you have to do to get you out of this state. We love you. The voices 